Hey guys, good morning. Um, so things are gonna look a little different today because I'm actually standing at my kitchen counter. I don't have my little cute stage set up. Miley is in bed, so Miley's not gonna be with us today. And this is actually one of those things where I just decided that I am going to make blueberry muffins. Uh, my granddaughter's coming over this morning and I always like to have muffins for her. Um, this is a recipe I already shared, but I, we shared it as like a quick little picture video. And the reason I wanted to hop on real quick and show you guys is these muffins are all about the process. Funny story, many, many years ago, um, there was a woman that lived in Windsor and had a, a small little store. Um, actually, she still does. Uh, she made blueberry muffins and I used to buy them from her and I loved them. And I asked for her recipe and she gave it to me. And now I'm a baker, so I can bake anything, not these muffins. I tried and I tried and I tried and they came out wrong and they bubbled over and they, and I literally laid on my kitchen floor in fetal position crying because I could not make these muffins. This wonderful woman came to my house and showed me how to make them. And I quickly learned that ingredients are only ingredients if you don't know what to do with them. It's the process with muffins, right? So I'm gonna show you guys real quick, as quick as I can, get these in the oven so that um, my granddaughter has fresh muffins. Stick of butter or margarine. Softened, room temperature, not softened really, room temperature. Drop it in your mixing bowl. And then you're gonna just, boom, 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 butter. Half a cup of sugar. Uh, I use cane sugar. It's a little less processed and I like the taste. So I put that in there. Now, we're just gonna move that around a little bit. Cream together, the butter and sugar. Okay. Uh, now half a cup of sugar in a recipe like this isn't a ton, which is why I love these muffins. They're not super sweet. My son says they're dry, like the desert. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, creamed together. Now we put in our flour. Again, I'm trying to make this quick because you guys must be sick of me by now. Two cups. So two cups all-purpose flour going in. Baking powder. I have baking powder. Two tablespoons. Not teaspoons. The big guns. Tablespoons. So that's going in. Alrighty. Now, same thing. You're gonna work it in there with a fork. You just need a fork. You don't need a spatula. You don't need a wooden spoon. I don't recommend using wooden spoons anyways because they nasty. So a friend of mine was telling me the other day that if you take a, a pot of water and you boil it and you put your wooden spoons in it, that your water is gonna get all kinds of dirty and nasty because you can't really clean a wooden spoon. Like all that stuff is, is like in there, like, cause wood is porous, it like sucks in. And that in itself made me wanna come home and burn all my spoons. So maybe we'll have a fire. Okay, so now this is just one of those things where they say mix um, your batter will resemble coarse crumbs. So that's kind of what you've got here without so see how it's still super floury, like it's not all mixed up. It doesn't look like one thing. It's just a bowl of crumbs, right? Okay. So now I'm gonna make a little well in the center, make a little hole. Three beaten eggs. I already had those ready to rock. I'm gonna pour that right in there. Half a cup of milk. I'm gonna pour that right in there. Now don't get fancy and try to use light cream on half and half because guess what? I did that before and they came out crappy. So now you're moving this batter around. I'm not really stirring, I'm kind of like figurating. So here's the point where, you see this? You wouldn't say that's really mixed, right? You can still see all the flour. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to leave it like this. Now, as a person that is like kind of a perfectionist and wants to do everything right, this kills me. This isn't right, but it is. Okay, now, this is a base for just about any muffin. At this point, you can mash up bananas and put it in. You can put walnuts, coconut, blueberries, raspberries, chocolate chips. Uh, you can put just chocolate chips, no fruit. You can do whatever you want. 
Um, so the recipe calls for a cup of blueberries. So I put in a very light cup of fresh blueberries. So it's not a full, like there's a little room because I like to throw in some raspberries for color and for taste. And then normally I would throw in coconut, but I'm not going to today. I'm going to hit it with some white chocolate chips. That was a third of a cup. There's really no measurement for what you like. Okay. Now, again, you don't want to over stir this because if you over stir muffins, they are going to boil over, not boil over, but bake over and run down your pan and be ridiculous. And then you too may be on the floor in fetal position. Now, when I'm baking muffins for just us at home, I only bake six. This, this is a big muffin tin, they're not the little ones. So these are big hearty muffins. So um, that's an excuse to say I only had one, but it's really like having three. And I don't use muffin liners when I'm baking for my family. So, right, so you're just going to take and you're gonna spoon this in. And again, there's really no measurement. Your goal here is to fill these cups. It's six um, as equal as you can muffins. Now, let me tell you what, my friends over the years, I share muffins constantly on Facebook and stuff. And everybody's always saying, oh, your muffins look so good. Well, guess what, they are. Um, and they're not really my muffins. They're someone else's. But my son loves these, thinks they're the best. He doesn't. He's literally the only person that I've ever served these to. He doesn't like them. I say, you'll miss me when I'm gone. You'll want my muffins. So this recipe, because I'm sharing it with you, can now stay alive. Um, best muffins ever. You'll make them and you'll quickly realize that. Um, okay, so then I just kind of go, let's even it out. Now for the final step, um, I actually wanted to open a bakery at one point in my life, but I don't have time or money for that. And I wanted to call it sprinkled with sugar because I'm one of those people that believes that everything is better when it's sprinkled with sugar. So I use turbinado sugar because it's more of a, um, it's like a thick crystal-y sugar and it stays on top of your muffins better and it makes a little crackly top. Okay, so these muffins are going in the oven at 400 degrees and they bake for about 22 minutes. I'll post a picture of the finished product. Um, I hope you guys make these because they're exceptional. So uh, as always, blessings on your day and we'll see you again, bye.